Hey guys, I want y'all to look at this little unit right here. I got this as a Father's Day gift, but I want you to know, I'm going to go through this, explain it, and in another video, we'll probably open this up. So stay tuned and subscribe. Video on this will be pretty good about explaining why you want this. So stay to the end and learn a lot about it. And definitely listen to what I'm telling you. This is about your own self-preservation is getting something like this. Now, this would be like $1,100, $1,200. It's a big one. And this would run you about uh, 280 and some miscellaneous parts for you for four solar panels, 284, not two. And this way, your refrigerator and all your basics and a microwave and a way to function in a power outage situation, utility failures, world problems. We got a lot of it, a lot more coming as quick as you can. A lot of these can be financed like through Karna or Firm or whatever, and they don't, it's easy to do. So while you have a chance, try to get you some of these. I'll put up all the links will be below the video of what I'm showing here in this video. So let's go check this out. Kira is going to uh, meter it and see what we're working with. Everybody, I got a kind of a strange gift for Father's Day. Not from her. Nope. No, from the guy I drive truck for. Um, I'm kind of kind of retired though, right? A strange occurrence, but we'll take it. <laughs> We're not gonna argue. Uh, he wanted to put these in all the trucks, and he said, "Man, I need your help. Uh, pick the best. Research, research, research." And I did. Um, there's a lot of these out there. This one here is an Afri, Afri, who the hell knows? I don't know how to pronounce the name. What I do know is that if you're going to put this in an RV or a truck, this is the style you want. And there's a reason behind that. If you're going to slide this behind the seat of a semi truck and you know that you got the curtain and other stuff there, if you guys understand, or you're going to put it inside of a cabinet of an RV, and you know that the cabinets and RVs are only about a foot wide. Do you really want all your stupid outlets right here? No. Or do you want all your stupid outlets right there? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like Kira said, do you want your stupid outlets down there? And look, those are even 20 amp rated. Do you want them down there? Yeah, of course you do. So? You know you do. You know you do. So this thing here has a 1,997 watt hour battery pack in it now the battery pack is a 48 volt battery pack but you can charge this with solar from 11 volts to 50 volts boom look at that that was a big thing you can plug that in to charge your car in other words go from here to your cigarette lighter and let it sit for a little bit and you can start your car you don't you, of course before you start your car unplug it but or you can, or you can get, a, or you can get one that goes right here, and you can charge this from your car. Its idle use is a lot less waste. That's a, that's awesome. Okay, so this is a really cool setup. I can use this right here to run a cooker with. So you can't do that. If you guys have ever bought these 12 volt cooking units like this or water heaters or anything like that to heat water with, a lot of these things won't run them. They just will not run them. They'll shut off. This one will do it. Another thing is from that outlet right there with a, a cigarette lighter adapter on it. I can run that big DC freezer unit. You see? refrigerator freezer dual zone that's a hundred and ten liter it's a big one. I can't run that on my Jackery that I had I cannot run that on my little Delta that I had or EcoFlow I can't do it it won't it won't run it I have to come out of here go into a 12 volt power pack and then to that which just waste tons of power to do it this one will allow me up to 500 watts of solar. I don't recommend that. I don't recommend that because 
that's not really rated for it. But this will handle about 440, you see? So 440 watts at about 44 volts, because it'll handle that. This is how you do it. Now I want you to go down, go down and look. I'll put a link to this, and you can all the stuff that comes with it, and it's got blasting good reviews, mainly because of how it's designed. Cooling goes in here, blows out here. So if you slide that in the cabinet and you leave a few inches back here, it'll suck the air through and it will always run cooler. And it's huge fans in it. This thing ain't no punk. And we've already tried it and ran uh, all kinds of different things on it. And right now it is running an air conditioner. 633 watts are going out. It is plugged in and charging the battery with the difference. So it's basically about 600 watts going into the battery and 635 or 34 going out. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Oh, the other thing. You see all them little, all these little, uh, I, I've got decent sized hands here. Here's a roll of electrical tape. Look at this cord. Look at all, all that. No, oh, Kira's little bitty hands, right? Itty look look bitty, at these tiny hands. Teeny, tiny hands. All right, so that... Everything you get from China is underrated. If this was underrated, why in the hell would they give you a cord like that? They pinch pennies so tight they make Lincoln sneer and cry. That's because it needs it. Because it can handle it. So I did. I investigated, investigated, investigated. What can it do? What can it do? What can it do? All right. Even the idle down. See? What can it do? A lot. This can do what I need in a semi-truck. Microwave and a four cubic foot refrigerator all day long. No problem. If I drive that truck for a few hours, it's 100% charged, and it'll run all night and day. No problem. Running everything I got. Now, below the video, I'll put a link to these. $270, bucks, you get four 100-watt panels. This thing in here where they're showing you these little flexi panels and stuff, for all these, these guys sell, they, all the, this company too. They sell these stupid flexible solar panels that say 110 watts. They don't put out 77, and they're big, and they're floppy, and they're hell to put somewhere. If you put you a ribbon hinge, go order you some 36-inch ribbon hinges, get the ones that are the one inch deep, and mount this two together as a hinged panel, you're good. They'll stash easy, they'll ride easy, they'll ride safe, okay? Two of these panels, four total, but two of these panels, look how I got it wired. Here, Kira, pull them up. So I'm wiring in series, you see? So I'm taking the 22 volts from this one and 22 from this one, and we're coming out with 44 volts which is inside of the good range for that MPPT, high efficiency. Let me lean it back against here. Because you're a mad scientist super. And that's easy to do. You're just going to take the negative, or the po like the positive from this one, feed it into the negative from this one. You can't mess it up. They're designed for it. Come out of here with the positive, and then get you a Y adapter, like that, to where you can have a total of four panels. Okay? Your four panels will produce 400 watts, and it... 44 volts, it will charge like a dream. And it won't be so high in the amperage that that light of a wire will be hurt from it. So this little wire here, now these are not included. You gotta buy them. They're about seven bucks for a set. But that little wire is included, the power wire is included, and the book. That's it. There ain't no blings and special prizes that you get with it. You do get a cover. The covers for if you're outside and it rains, throw it on there. There's a cool power button. It's got some cool power buttons on it, but and then. and it comes with a nice little package here for your cord and your little DC charger unit. And it's actually got enough room in there you can get you some other parts and put in there too. So why would you do this? Why? Why? Because this is the easiest way for most people. About eleven hundred bucks and another $500 worth of miscellaneous parts, okay? So you're, you're talking, if you got that battery and you charged it up off of that off of that outlet, which you can do, you charge that up, 
because it puts out basically 14 volts and it's BMS with disconnected. Then you could back feed that battery at night into here instead of paying a thousand dollars for a battery thing that just does the same damn thing. It, it does the same thing. Why well, do it? Okay. So that's 340 bucks for that battery. Two of those batteries, 680 bucks. That's got a big enough battery inside of it. That's one and a half of those. One and a half of that, a little over one and a half, I think, of those. All right. So 340, one and a half of those, it's over 500 bucks. No inverter, no 12 volt systems, no auto charging, no UPS, no nothing. For twice, for as much as three of those batteries, you got that. You got 2,000 watts of constant running power, 4,000 real. If that don't tell you the 4,000 is real, 4,000 watts starting. Started this air conditioner like it didn't mean nothing. Nothing. So, four solar panels, 280 bucks. This here, I think, is like 1170. I'll put a code or so. If they send me a code, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go uh, do my little uh, card, my warranty card, and I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna ask them to send me a code and give them the link to the video I do, and so, so check back. Um, I don't owe them nothing. I'll put the Amazon link to it. Um, this is a good one, and like I said, I studied 60 pounds. I did my research, packed really really well okay double boxed not a blemish on it and i got a terrible ups guy i think he drinks old wild turkey or something okay but you get the four solar panels you get that your refrigerator stays on you have the ability to cut your utility cost because you will it'll default to solar and later get you a battery or two if you want to do it that way and set yourself up to survive bad times. This is for my truck, but this also means that my food won't go bad. This will run two nine cubic foot freezers. This will run a huge refrigerator, a big double door. Um, it easily fires up that thing right there, which none of the other ones will do. None of them will do. That does it. And that's why I had to get that one, okay? It produces enough amps out of that to run these kind of cookers, 12 volt cookers. These are 12 volt. You can't go wrong like that. All right. We're in a world of idiots nowadays. Get you something that allows you to go basically, basically instant off grid. This will run your heater furnace. If you got natural gas furnace or propane, this will run that furnace completely because they only pull about 800 watts. It'll run it completely, keep your house warm, keep you from freezing. It'll run your shrink or your uh, heat tape for your water pipes for days, days. And if you have to get a little tiny generator, look at the up here, boom, right there. Look at that link. And that link's going to take you to an eco smart generator that just runs forever on a gallon of gas. And it's 1500 watts, 16 and a quarter, really. But it will charge this up in two hours. So just imagine that. It's got like a 10 hour runtime. So you got five days recharging that with these being snow covered. And if they're not, hell, you got 10, 12 days as needed for a gallon of gas. This is the kind of setup I want everybody to try to get. Okay, not everybody can do this. Okay, and I, I don't expect you to. All right. That's a lot of stuff in here. But keep your kids fed, keep your house safe, keep your security on, keep your phones working, keep your TV on for the news, keep yourself safe. The best thing in the world for hurricane season, for politicians who are morons, get you that. Get you at least four. Wire them like I showed you. You see? Wire them like I showed you, and do not buy the nine nine bus bar, the nine BB. Don't don't do it. They overheat. They're junk. Get the five bus bar. Get the good ones. Get the right ones. Don't pay the extra twenty dollars for garbage. They're too thin. Their their glass is too thin, 
and they talk about fractures, don't ignore it. They're having too many of them getting recalled. Get the right one to get the link. I put that link to these. Get the right ones. Get you four. Four pack, 280 bucks, 275, whatever it is. Get you four and get you that. Don't shortchange yourself. Don't get a 1500 watt going. Ask, oh, I'm going to need because my microwave, 1500 watt. No, it's not. You need 2000 watts to run a 1500 watt microwave. It takes power to make power, it takes power to make heat. Okay? That's not, how much how, that's not how much power it uses. That's how much heat it makes. It still takes 2,000 watts to run it. Okay? So I'll even put down there and below, I'll put down some, some uh, appliances, if you're interested, that will use a lot less power. They could go with this for 50 or 60 bucks. So you'll have cooking, refrigerating, everything. That's the direction you got to go. All right? Get your solar on. This thing comes with a nice cover if you have it outdoors. Not all of them do that. Okay. That nice little thing there. Pick you a good 100 amp battery. You know, uh, Rododo makes a really, really, really good battery. And the LI Time batteries, eh, when they were amper time, eh. The new ones with the leaf cell, the pouch cells, eh, <laughs> not so much. Power Queen, absolute, but pick you a good battery. I put some lists of some of them below the video. But y'all stay safe and y'all get you something like this. I've never got a gift of this value. And I'm 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 pushing the hills and, and one foot in the grave. And nobody's ever given me nothing like this, including my kids. Come on. You see? See what I'm saying? Oh, but since we're talking about saving on the power bill, instead of letting instead of letting somebody buy your baby girl a pair of shorts so short that they don't even qualify as my underwear, you can get her a pair of overalls and a whole wardrobe of mm. blue jeans and torn up shirts. There you go. Good idea, right? Dress like Kira, love the world more, yeah. and hate yourself less. So, you guys, you guys, um, you guys. And get your butt stared at a lot less. <laughs> I, I got that to deal with. You guys, I just want my viewers, and I want everybody's viewers, not to have to worry about $1,000 of food in your freezer going bad. What's the price of that? Okay? These have come a long way. They're affordable now, and that's not a bad deal. I think they got a big discount on them too. That's why he got he bought like three or four of these and got like twenty percent off a couple of them, and I got one. So I don't know what I don't know what he paid for it. I think it's eleven hundred bucks, but he'll rub my nose in it later, guys. All right, y'all be good. Simple to do. It's not complicated. I studied the hell out of this. I even went to AliExpress and talk to vendors to make sure I wasn't making a mistake when I told him these are the ones he'd get. He listened. He's been following my channel too. He's not a moron, so he's a pretty good guy. And to him, what do you think? You think Kara, Kara owns it now? Who owns it, Kara? I know. You, no, you, you no. You, you just because it lasts 10 years, I'll last 11. I'll last 11 just no. to spite you. No. There's too many of you. No. All right, guys, y'all be good. Yeah.